guess what? I'm still in Sweden. I was supposed to go to Norway, but at the airport, when I had to say goodbye to Sebastian, we both had a corona test, and of course mine was positive, while Bastian's was negative. So Bastian went back to the Netherlands, and here I am. I'm at a hotel by the airport to do my quarantine. So this is my hotel room. It's quite big. And in here we got the toilet. Yes. And out here we got the big the bed where I will spend most of my time sleeping. And of course the no worries t-shirt because otherwise I would worry a lot. And we got the big mirror. Yay! And of course also the table with a really sad view. Nothing but cars. But I forgot to show you something because um, this morning I was eating my breakfast so I just took the newspaper and looked through it and suddenly right here do you see it? Who is it? It's me and Bastian in Sigtuna getting interviewed and of course we were in the newspaper today just so sadly that Bastian can see it, see it. and that's why I'm gonna call him and show him the newspaper that will hopefully make him smile. Hi. Okay, vil du høre noget? Ja. Okay, så jeg sad i morges mega depressed. Sad jeg og spiste min morgenmad. Og jeg kiggede sådan igennem avisen. Der var kommet dagen inden, og gæt hvad jeg ser. Gæt hvad jeg ser. Er du klar? Wow! Kan du se det? What? Hold kæft, den står billedet. <laughs> det er sådan What? en halv side nærmest. Men, hæ? Altså, der står noget, du har sagt. Okay, skal jeg læse, hvad der står? Ja. Yeah. Det er det, du siger. Du siger, jeg tykker, at det kendes utrygt omkring mærster, når man møder visse grupper af personer. Her i Sigtuna er det ikke lige utrygt, siger Bastian Blomendal, 23, som bor i mærster. It is Sunday today, so I can call like the Danish ambassade in Sweden to ask them what to do. And I couldn't stay at the last host where me and Bastian were staying with Eva and Tom because they were going to have a, another work away. Oh shit, yes, Fina. How can that skate? That does not very look very good. Shit! Yeah, that's fucked up. That is fucked up. That does not look very good. Yep, that does not look very good indeed. Yes, Fina. Yeah. You have some good news, right? Give us the update. Where are you? Now I'm in. No way. So, as you know, I had to stay three days in quarantine at the hotel in Sweden. But I was negative after the three days. So then I went to Norway to my new host. It is a hotel in the mountains uh, in Jotunheimen. It is called Hinsetter. And here I have to be a waitress in the evenings. So if the dinner, it is very like a luxury, luxurious uh, place with like um, very gastronomic meals. So it is very, very delicious to stay here. But as Bastian probably have told, now we are making like two separate series. So you can follow both Bastian's and my journey. And Bastian, where are you going to? Let us hear it. Woo! <laughs> Norway! Norway, to be exactly, Ørsta. Yes. Here in Hinsetter, I'm staying in a small cabin with my roommate, uh, and her name is Laura. But I will just show you our little cabin. We have my bed right here, beautiful, delicious, soft. And then we have Laura's side of the room over here. And of course, we got the beautiful view to all the big mountains. So yesterday I actually went on a really, really long hike. It was a four hour hike with uh, my one of my hosts. His name is Andre and he's a guide and a chef at this hotel. And he showed me and Laura like this really big uh, valley with like half frozen waterfalls. It was like all beautiful and baby blue colors. 
we just climbed down the valley and like we even went to a ice cave and they also had these really big potholes that was formed by geological phenomenons and I even took a little souvenir my own little rock from the cliffs and we also got this beautiful library where we can sit and read a Norwegian book while we're looking out on the mountains or into the beautiful fireplace Hinsera in the sky. Here you see the mountain on top. And I live right there, the second small cabin with my roommate Laura. And we got this big mountain just right in our backyard. Actually, we got them all the way around us. The hotel, my cabin, and the big mountain. As I was saying, I'm in Urstar uh, uh, at my hosts Christina and Hans. And I want to show you a little bit around here in Urstar. And it's, well, I'm having the road with me. So, um, yeah. Enjoy these footage of the village and enjoy the next episode, which we will.